Most of us have a game that we stayed home from school or college or whatever just to play. We uh, played Truant for one day, or maybe more days, just to play this game all day. For me, that game was... oh sorry, it's not the camcorder. For, for me, this game was... Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. I believe I was about four when I uh, asked my mum if I could uh, stay home just to play this, and she let me. She doesn't remember doing so, but uh, I do. Um, you'll notice it's a very large box. In fact, let me compare it to Lemmings for Windows. You'll notice it's uh, quite a bit wider. Uh, I think it's uh, a little bit deeper as well. For a while this was one of the biggest boxes I had, but that's since been superseded by uh, many other games. So let's have a look. This is the Australian release, so it's not got the same um, artwork as the US and UK releases, which is a bit odd. They use totally different artwork and, uh, in fact, totally different everything, because uh, the main sort of theme colour of Jazz 2 is purple. If you've played the game, look at the menus and that, it's very, very purple. But on this they've gone for sort of blue and yellow. Mm, very strange. And they've got this image that doesn't seem to appear anywhere else. Uh, so let's have a look at it. Jazz Jackrabbit 2, PC CD ROM, would you believe? Uh, according to Best Buy, uh, with the strange monobrow man, Jazz Jackrabbit 2 is fast paced all the way, either on your own or even better with friends. That was a big selling point. It had um, online multiplayer, sorry. My mind just got blank there. Yeah, online multiplayer, which has actually been updated by the community, which is great. So you can still play it online. Um, it's amazing that for a game that is only available legally through like eBay and that, it's got such a vibrant community. It's uh, quite mind-boggling, really. It just makes you think if they did re-release it, it'd just, be, it'd just explode. Anyway, they've got a very strange rating system of PC Guide. Five out of six. Why six? Why not ten or five or something sensible? Maybe they just wanted to be a bit different. Anyway, Mono Brown Man is very happy with it. I'm sure he had lots of fun with jazz. And there he is himself. The image is a little bit grainy. Um, I do suspect it's like a scan that they've coloured and uh, it's not quite big enough for a print. But Epic had no idea they were going to use it for that, so I don't know. Uh, and there's his brother Spaz, who appears for the first time in this game and then didn't really appear again because then didn't make any more jazz games. And here is the uh, main sort of confusing bit of the whole box art. He's at it again! This tagline appears on no other releases and it doesn't actually appear in the game either. So um, it's something that they've added and it kind of gets on your nerves because it's all over the shop. Apart from on the spine, thankfully, you don't have to read it when it's on your shelf. So Project 2 Interactive, I believe they had a hand in... Did they have a hand in developing it or did they publish it? Um, and Blackfriar. This game was very big in the uh, Netherlands, inexplicably. I think Project 2 were a uh, Dutch company. We've got the same sort of thing on the other side, except Project 2 is missing. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Oh well. Um, and on the back we've got this bizarre explosion again. What have we got? The PC's very own platform hero is back, and this time it's double trouble. Jazz, with the help of his spaced out brother Spaz, sets out to conquer the rampaging reptile Devon, Devon, whatever it is. Full of incredibly fast gameplay, Jazz Jack, Rab Jack, Jack Rabbit 2 huh. lets you fly, swim, and warp your way through over 40 levels of non stop action. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not as fast paced as they're making out to be, but it's still quite a lot of fun. Uh, let's move it across a bit there. Encounter the enemy, yeah, get them encountered. Oh, what a selling point. You get to encounter some enemies in this game, hey, hey, hey. Ugh. And outwit their advanced artificial... All right, that's that's a lie. That's not. <laughs> there's nothing advanced about the AI in this game. The most advanced thing that they do is fly towards you. Jeez. Um, create your own levels using the Jazz Creation Station. Now, that is true, and again, levels are still being made to this day. If you go on, I think it's jazz2online.net. There's, there's new levels that have been created every day. It's a little bit like Doom 2. It's, it's well, not, obviously not as big, but geez, it, it's so 
bizarre. Like I said, a game that's been out of print for years still has such community. Anyway, and if you've got any energy left, jazz up your social, a social life with up to four deliriously fun multiplayer modes, including modem, LAN, and internet play. Wow. To, uh, a lot of them you can't actually play it over the internet, you have to be on a LAN or um, local multiplayer. And here's the same selling points again, but with just as bullet points. With the copywriter on this needs a slap, or firing, or both. So we've got advanced enemy AI, like we've seen, incredibly fast paced gameplay, like we've seen, flying, swimming, walk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deliriously fun part of it. They can't even come up with different flipping adjectives. What's up with them? Uh, but it does tell you that up to 32 players on 8 screens via LAN or the internet can play, so that's good. Uh, yeah, it does give you more specifics on the multiplayer, actually. Which it should really have done up there, but, you know. One of them things. And yeah, easy to use level editor. What have we got at the bottom? The uh, technical requirements. I don't think I need to go through that. But if you want to ring that number, feel free. Uh, I've also just noticed it's not suitable for 3 to 10 year olds. Why is that? I find that a bit bizarre myself, considering... <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'm, I'm pretty sure that jazz is suitable for 3 to 10 year olds. I've, I've, I'm, I'm kind of gobsmacked. I don't know whether you can tell. Um, yeah, all this uh, gubbins at the bottom, and uh, some screenshots, which is nice. It shows you the uh, parallax sky and uh, some stuff. That's from Tube Electric, I think. That's from one of the later beach levels. It shows you a level from the end of the game, which is great. Oh no, that's not from the end of the game. Sorry. Um, that's one of the throwback levels where they add the original uh, Jazz 1 shareware episode levels in this game, which is quite cool. No, not the exact levels, but uh, the same planets. So, we've seen the box. Let's have a look inside. Nice slipcase, revealing plain white cardboard box. <laughs> a slightly mouldy plain white cardboard box like that. Um, yeah, there's nothing on this. It's a little bit disappointing, but I mean, it's a case not exactly a high profile release, so we can kind of let them off for it. Inside, we have Ye Manual. This one doesn't have the comic in it. I believe the comic was in the was in the European version, I think. In fact, the European version and the US versions were so much better than this one. Uh, but again, they had different box art as well. They they differed slightly. It was just like the background colour, but they still differed. Also, it's not even glossy paper in this one. It's just uh, like the cheapest flipping printer paper you could get. And it's all black and white. No, no screenshots even. Or other. There might be some near the front. No, nope. I can't see any. I'm having a hard time flicking through it while keeping it in in frame. No. Dull, dull, dull. And continuing with the theme of dull, here is the registration card. Black Friday. Oh, hold on a minute, this is London! What? So that means this is. But Moby Games said this was an Australian release, I've been lied to! So, hold on a minute. Are you suggesting, therefore, that there are two separate Jazz 2 releases in the UK? Because there was the generic European version, well not generic, it must have been in English, that had our splice in the artwork that it had on the front. Um, so this must be under the UK version. Because look, London, Western Avenue, I wonder if they're still there. W3662, well if you want to send a letter to them, be my guest. And on the back, <laughs> um, getting to the boring, mundane aspect of it, you've got this crazy free prize draw, check it out, look. I suspect they didn't quite know what game they had in their possession, because the free prize draw is for a flipping printer. <laughs> We're like, what the heck's all that about? Who is playing Jazz 2 that wants a printer? 
Like, oh, oh, I really want to print it on my screenshots from Jack. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a free printer. Oh, I wonder if actually anybody actually uh, filled that in. Send it back. I reckon Blackfriar saved themselves 250 quid there. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> you, okay. Did graphic designers not exist in the 90s or something? So, surnames in capitals, but everything else is in... Uh, sort of sentence case. Email address is in total lowercase. Because, you know, everybody... Oh, well, it was 1998, so I guess so. Um, tell us about your purchase. Date. Date purchased... Oh, from retailer. Guys, make your mind up. Is, are the captions on the left or the right? Jeez. Um, you can also tell them what you have on your computer, so if you already have a printer, then you might not be el eligible for the prize draw. Um, modem, joystick, 3D card and internet access. That's a bit of an odd mix. Like, <laughs> they don't care if you've got a sound card or a monitor. Oh, God forbid. But if you've got a uh, a joystick or a flipping printer, way. And I like how you can have modem and internet access separate things. Surely one begets the other. Um, and yeah, your system is either Windows 95 or Windows 3.1, despite the fact that this was released after Windows 98, I'm pretty sure, so that should be on the card. And other, yeah, actually that's a point, you wouldn't be playing Jazz 2 if you only had Windows 3.1, would you? Oh jeez, guys, um, and how would you rate the game? I would rate it excellent, obviously, because it's cool. Oh, and uh, if you want to give them a ring, there you go. Wasn't that a different number from the back of the box? I'm sure that number would start with 016. Oh, I'm sure that's a Manchester number as well, 0161. And, uh, yeah, final thing, the disc. In a totally plain um, jewel case. I don't actually know if this had um, any artwork with it originally, but mine doesn't. Yes, shiny. Oh, look, you can see my... Uh, Poster through that. Huh. How about that? And there is Jazz 2. Now you know if your uh, bizarre Australian stroke London. Hang on a minute. So does that mean PC Guide is a UK thing? I've never heard of it. Oh well.